Welcome back, everyone. So a couple days ago, Taylor and I were filming a video right here in our snake room, and we were showing you some really cute little teeny tiny baby bush vipers that had just been born. So this morning, I was doing my regular routine. I came out to the snake room, and guess what I saw? More baby bush vipers. Uh, this time, it's a much bigger litter. They are so cute. Um, I'm gonna pull them right now. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so this is another one of our temporary setups for females that we know are gravid. Uh, this is the mom who just dropped the babies. Look how pretty she is. And then if you start looking around, you're gonna see there's babies all around her. Uh, so just like last time, Taylor's not here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all these babies and then we'll do all the feeding and the fun stuff once Taylor gets home. So look, there's one, there's two, there's another one. There's just a bunch of them in here, cool. All right, so what we're gonna do first is actually offer the mother uh, some food because she's, she's very hungry. And I'm worried that when I start pulling the babies, she might try and grab and eat one. So let's give her a meal real quick. All right, now that she's doing that, let's pull some babies. Some of the uh, undeveloped ova we got from her. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the eight babies. That would have been a very, very uh, large litter. Babies! Hey guys, so as you saw earlier, Rhett found one of our squamps had just given birth to eight babies and he made sure to wait till I got home from work to feed them because he knows I love feeding them their first meal just because they're so cute and tiny and it's so cute seeing them eat some food. So let me tell you a little bit about these guys. Their scientific name is actually Aethra squamigera. We call them squams or also bush vipers. Squams are semi-arboreal, meaning they live in the trees and on the ground, so you'll see a lot of our setups, there's vines and logs so they can go up, and there's also comfy ground with some foliage so they can hide out. They're fairly small snakes, even as adults, they range between 18 to 24 inches, and you'll see here the babies are actually only 4 to 6 inches, and they can curl up on a quarter, and we'll show you that guy shortly. Let's get to feeding.
Thanks for joining me today to feed these little guys. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did, and we'll see you next time.